Hello guys and welcome to another beginner's guide video. Today we have Explorer. Explorer is a very interesting character. He's a decoder but he also has a lot of stealth elements that make him almost a different brand or type or tag of survivor. He isn't very popular at the moment and he definitely isn't meta but with some coming updates he might be bumped up in the tier list of competitive players. His ability to hide and avoid hunters is something that makes him very unique. He knows where the hunter is, like characters like Sia for example. He knows where they are within a 50 meter radius, being changed to 60 meters in the upcoming patch. This character was either the first or the second character I bought. I had a magician and I also had explorer, I can't remember which one was the first one I got. but. I love him very much and I stopped playing him for a while but recently I've come back to playing him and I really do enjoy playing him. Uh, so without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So let's start with the first tip. In most cases, it's good to head in the direction of the treasure. Depending on where the treasure is found, if it is near a hunter, in most cases you want to decode the cipher that is in front of you when you spawn. But in most cases you want to head towards the cipher that has the treasure in front of it. You want to do this to mitigate the lack of accelerated decoding at the beginning of the match so you can speed up the whole process at the beginning of the match so that when accelerated decoding begins you already have one or two ciphers left and you can finish the ciphers very quickly. So you want to make sure that you start your match with your ability activated straight away so you know where your treasure is. This can also help if you don't know where your hunter's spawn points are and you can avoid your hunter at the beginning of the match and decode faster without being interrupted by a hunter. Tip number two. This is an add-on from the last one. When you spawn in, all the treasures spawn in next to ciphers. So this is important because you know you're heading towards a cipher if you're heading towards a treasure. To avoid crows, you want to make sure that you touch the cipher that is near the treasure first. Even if you walk past the treasure, in most cases you want to make sure that you touch the cipher and then start digging for the treasure. Crows occur when you don't interact with anything in the environment after a certain period of time. For some reason, digging for treasures does not count as interacting with the environment, so you need to make sure that you don't get caught out. Tip number three, moving around. In most cases you want to move around with your small ability on, so that it's much more difficult for the hunter to find you and also to know where you are. The hunter can't see you from a distance because you're so small and it also means that you can know where the hunter is at most whenever the hunter is near you and avoid them without them even knowing you were anywhere near them in the first place. This will help you since you will have a goal as well since you know where the treasure is. As for my persona web, tip number four, I would say that in most cases you want to take broken windows with you because Explorer is one is the only character that can vault windows without making any noise and without alerting the hunter. So in most cases you want to go around vaulting windows as so that you can use broken windows to the best effect and move around the map at a lot faster speed than most survivors can go. As for other things you can take, I, rec I recommend taking Borrow Time since usually Explorer is normally found at the end of the match because you usually avoid the Hunter for most of the match. <gasps> Another idea is to take Tide Turner and I'll talk about that later in tip number 7.
As for other things you can choose for your Persona web, it's all up to you. Tip number five, let's get into kiting. You always want to kite in your big form because you're actually a lot faster. When you're in your tiny form, you have a 20% decrease in speed. But this is changing in the next update. You will actually get a little bit faster with the update. It's going from 20% to 10% speed decrease. Here I have two examples of big form versus small form. It takes 10 seconds to get from one side of the room to the other in, in big form and you should see a 20% decrease in speed so it should be 12 seconds in small. Here we have an example. With the next patch update it should be just 11 seconds so by now you should have arrived. Tip 6. I've yet to do some maths and some real life testing with this, but in most cases I think when you spawn in at the start of the match it's very important to head towards the closest treasure to you, unless that treasure spawns at a very far distance from you. Most, in that case you want to decode the one that is closest to you. Tip number seven, I recommend that you should try taking Tide Turner with you. Many times I've actually rescued people on chairs because of this stealth that he has of being small and being able to sneak up with the chair. Also the fact that he can't be seen by peepers and also that the hunter can't see you with their senses or their abilities. So one more tip I forgot to add to this video that I didn't do any specific b-roll for was the fact that he has some strange interactions with other hunters. For example, Geisha cannot dash to him when he's in small mode. Hellamber's puppets cannot seemingly cannot seem to follow him when he's in tiny mode and other strange interactions that you'll find when you play Explorer. I feel like he's a character who's been buffed and changed a lot. Uh, they're trying to make him very viable but they never seem to make him meta exactly. So hopefully with the next update he will be bumped up in the tier list of competitive players and maybe we'll see him in the meta? Maybe, probably not. But thank you for coming to this video. Um, please like and subscribe and please answer this question for me. Do you think that Explorer is going to become a meta character? Also, come and hang out with me on Twitch. I stream Mondays, Thursdays and Saturdays. I play Identity 5 and other games and hopefully I'll see you there and we can hang out and chat. If you have any other tips that you haven't thought of, please write them down below or come to my Twitch and we can discuss them. Hopefully we can add them to a video. That's enough for today. Thank you for coming and I'll see you in the next Beginner's Guide video. Bye-bye.